Greetings programs! I'm Young Napoleon and I want to welcome you back to my Victoria 2 Let's Play series. This is episode 33 of a Portuguese Imperial Colonial Colonial Imperial Restoration run with no mods at all of the DLC, all two of them. Uh, let's see, in the last episode it was just a bunch of... Oh yeah, I forgot we, we left off on the... Um... All right, I'm not a great power anymore, so I don't need to. I don't need to do anything here. Uh, I left off on a crisis. Let's see how it's shaping up. Italy. Oh boy. Italy is backing. This is Romania, I think. Yeah, Romania uh, against Austria-Hungary. Austria-Hungary is allied with France and Montenegro. Oh, this could be it, guys. This could be it. Let's see how things shape up here. I'm about to regret not going for gas attack so soon. Let's see what happens. Let's see, Germany is backing Italy. We need France. We need UK, UK to back Italy. And Russia and France to not do anything. That Austria-Hungary backs down. Uh, let's see. Scientists have discovered trademark. Okay. Oh, yikes. That is unfortunate. Alright, so now we really need the UK to back Italy. Otherwise, this is going to be a nasty war. Come on, UK. Get in there. I've uh, discovered Pierce Joseph Proudhon. Cool. We are just staring at a screen while this tick ticks up. Waiting for the UK to... This is nerve-wracking. How is a little game like this so nerve-wracking? This is going to make for a, an interesting world war. Finish the research of mass culture. Okay, let's go ahead. And yeah, we are definitely picking this up. Uh, let's see, Spain does not like us, so they are not going to give us military access. Are they in an alliance with anybody? They are not. <laughs> Which means if I'm going to have to go to war with someone, I'm going to have to load the navy around. Who are... I'll send you over to Ori. And you're there in Vasher. Okay. Do you have an engineer? You do. Okay, good. All right. We've discovered William Cunningham. UK, why are you doing this? Why are you dragging this out? Uh, Italy accepted the crisis offer, white peace. Ooh, okay. No war. Thank a goodness. Ooh, that's some attrition, isn't it? Yowza. Okay. Crisis averted. Back to industry. Back to railroads and battleships. Let's see. Yeah, 
Definitely want to stay focused on that right now. How is the... Oh, I think they've got a battleship floating around. That might have been a monitor. Let's see. Yeah, they've got some good craftsmen over here. Oh, let's go ahead and what was this? We will fund these railroads. Shared prestige. Do not understand why what's oh well. I'll take it. Uh, more rubber. Very good. Let's see. Let's make sure all the factories are more rubber. Wow. Uh are looking good here. Let's see. Alentejo. Definitely want to focus them here. Uh, Duro. Let's see. Yeah, they can go wherever they want to here, I think. And then... Sounds like another factory just came online. They want to build liquor. Yeah. Or, wow. Wow. <laughs> it's my Owen Wilson impersonation. Uh, let's see. Yeah, see, this is... Well, I guess why not? Yeah, I'm not helping out your... Stupid fertilizer factory. When, when we don't have any sulfur anywhere in the nation. This is why capitalists make me mad sometimes. More rubber. As they build crap like this. <laughs> uh, pun was not intended, but I'll take it. Uh, let's see. Where I don't have the resources to make it viable, you know, to make it profitable. Cool, cool. They're going to town. Let's see. I feel like I should build more army, maybe? More military? More navy, I mean? No, right, I'm saving the saving the space. Actually, I would like to make sure... Okay, I do have 20 transports, so that's that's just enough for my front line. Okay, that's that's fine. Those look like transports. Uh, let's lower the... Let's bring the tax down a bit more since we've got... We're still making pretty good money. Oof, that, uh... All right, all right, we're doing okay. We're still in the green. Okay, we'll take that. So, if I lower the... That's fine. That's fine. Rubber found in Sofala. Do 
What? Are, what? Oh, that's cool. Somehow I just opened up a... Uh, I guess when you've got a region selected and you hit A, it opens up the army. And for the build navy. Ah, oh, cool, cool. Uh, okay, let's see. So now we'll hit A and then select it so we can see where all my rubber's coming from. This looks like my best rubber right in here. This is Munza, I believe. Oh no, my best rubber is up here in Wari. Uh, okay, political lobbying. Frederick Engels. Okay, and now we can start working on that uh, gas attack. Let's go ahead. What allows us to build dreadnoughts? Why can I not build um, battleships already? Build navy. Battleship requires a naval port with level four. Oh, 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 oh okay. All right, so let's work on. Let's get this up to level four. Okay, get me some battleships. Railroads and battleships, baby. Uh, let's see. We don't want to lose the prestige. We're still gunning for number eight. Our industrial power is up to 76 now. It's not bad. It's kind of weird. Like, I don't want war to break out now. The, the, the map painter in me is like, who are you? But I kind of just want, I want my, my industry to, to coast and, and build up. Although I also kind of want to take uh, regions from Spain. They are in France's sphere. sphere. Rubber found in Diambala. <clears throat> wow. Cool. Uh, let's see. I can't sphere. There was someone over here. They are in nobody's sphere. They're civilized now. They do get some opium? Yeah. I might take them out. Maybe I'll just puppet them? What's this? Algeria. Does Algeria have anything to offer? Back to the top. They're allied with France. So. Any war that I get involved in is probably going to be with France, and they would not help me out. So. I'll skip that. Let's see, who do we got here? Yemen? Yemen is allied with Ethiopia and Hejaz. They are allied with nobody. Should I do it? Should I try and sneak in here for some opium? Mm, I don't know. War seems risky now. I could I could wreck my economy if I get into if France butts in again. So we'll hold off. I don't really How does my, my military rank? I've got 284, France is 5, so yeah, yeah. That's not, and say we did. France, world police. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Colonial incident. Portugal gains a place in the sun, casts his belly on the UK. That's okay, thanks. I'm still sad that I didn't get my Make Puppet justification on Spain. That could have been pretty cool. Especially just getting all that iron. Getting it in my market. Uh, let's see. What to do, what to do. I'm going to crank the speed up a little bit. 
while things just kind of take along. More rubber? Turn into a rubber powerhouse. Let's see, what can I do uh, with rubber? Let's see, rubber is raw material. Rubber goes into aeroplane factories, artisan uh, goes into, sorry, automobiles, tanks, and electric gears. Rock me in my cradle. And some to our neighbors. Yeah, electric gears are really... Uh, very, very important. I can't build a factory. What? So annoying. I want to be able to build what I want to build. Now let's see. Does anybody give me state capitalism? Investors can build. Capitalists can build. Can I build? Build factories, yes. Okay. The state capitalism is what I want. Socialists look good, where they were they're pacifists though. That's not good. Uh full citizenship. Free trade. What do I got right now? Um Free trade, okay, so I've got free trade right now. We've been going with the communists, that's land economy. Do not want laissez-faire, so you guys are right out. So we're down to either the socialists or the monarchists. I'm assuming that's what that translates to. Let's see, monarchicos. Let's see, T. Wayne Station robbed. Uh oh. So the bureaucrats gain militancy, the farmers gain militancy, or I lose 40 T in my stockpile. That's fine. Uh, okay. And we got some movements here. They're actually getting a little spicy. Uh, okay, so let's see. Free trade and free trade. The capitalism, pluralism, atheism, full citizenship, limited citizenship, pro military, pacifism. Maximum military spending drops to 50%. Ooh. Avant garde literature. Assimilation rate is 25. Assimilation rate is 10. Alright, so I think I'm going to go with the socialists for now. And then if war breaks out, we'll switch over to the monarchicos. Just so that... Um, I like the assimilation rate. Just to try and get some of these uh, African colonies into states would be really cool. Uh, finished research. Okay, so let's go over to the socialists. Okay, that lets my capitalists keep doing stuff. Uh, real quick, we've got a movement here for low pensions. Okay, and then... Bolt action rifles. Now let's focus on the industry. Factory costs go down. Let's see. 
What do I need to make those gears? Let's see, to make a electric gear, it's not on the list yet, is it? Electricity, maybe? Uh, let's see, allows electric gear factory, okay. Supply limit plus 50, wow. Army attrition goes down, pop growth goes up. Oh, those are inventions. Let's see. Coal production, sulfur production, iron, sulfur. Ooh, yeah, that sounds really good. Um, hmm. Uh, you know what? Let's go for the, the research points real quick. Let's start off with that. Uh, and hope that it pays for itself. Okay, so I think this is where we are going to call it for the day, guys. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed that as much as I have. If you have, please be sure to do all that YouTube stuff. As always, I would take it as a kindness. And uh, always remember, sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. The games have been a little... Um, not easy. It's been, it's been kind of uneventful, I guess, is a good word for it. But that's okay. We're learning, and it's nice and easy. So sometimes you just want to chill a little bit, right? If you don't want to chill, I do have a Hearts of Iron 4 series. You can watch all sorts of violence and mayhem over there. Uh, but yeah, so <laughs> all right, enough rambling. I'll see you guys next time.